Hello everybody, welcome back to Diamatics Gaming Channel. So today we're looking at a game called uh, Silent Hill Collier. Uh, this is by a Spanish game developer, it's a fan game based on the Silent Hill saga. Um, so this is made on the Unity engine, and uh, this is the open beta, so basically it's not even the finished game, just kind of like open beta demo they call it I guess. Um, but yeah, they changed the name actually. So Silent Hill Collier, now it's called Silent Hill Lost Pieces. So this is the main menu, you can select your language there. And Silent Hill, it's the logo here. Silent Hill Collier. So you can press uh, enter to start it basically here. You can go in the menu, you can't do anything, you can't even select graphics or anything. They don't do anything, so you just hit new game. It kind of just spawns you in the world. Uh, and I mean it's kind of a bit odd uh, like there's Spanish here but the game's actually English it's a bit weird I don't know but um, you actually set the settings before you load the game in but uh, yeah so this kind of like just load in here this is what the game looks like so there's notes that you find out here this is kind of welcome to Silent Hill and it kind of talks about the controls and whatnot I have my own controls set up so I don't have to look at that stuff and you can't get in this here. So basically, you're an ex miner. Uh, his name's Adam Baker. And basically, you're kind of looking for your sister to so come to Silent Hill. They really capture the atmosphere of Silent Hill in this game here. So it's uh, really well done here. And this is that Welcome to Silent Hill sign that's famous in um, almost every game and movie and stuff like that. So if you actually try to go there, I mean, the, you know, the road's dead, of course. That's so like in uh, all the other games. But um, this minor model, uh, actually, it's similar to the movie, uh, Silent Hill the movie, where uh, one of the townspeople in, I think, the apartment or something, they have this kind of outfit or costume on. But, uh, I mean, yeah, the controls are a bit sluggish, and even the animations, as you can see here, it's the open beta, though, so, you know, it's not finished or anything. And it's kind of like just a demo to get the feel of how the game is going to be when it is released. So you can run and you can walk and stuff like that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, I mean it's really short, this uh, this little beta demo thing. But uh, you know, it's kind of cool. It's, you know, kind of get a good feel of the game. I like how you can see his eyes through that mask. That's a really nice touch. But uh, yeah, I mean the atmosphere is really great. I uh, actually had to re-edit the sound in this part just because there's a, a song playing on this radio in this room here. And I didn't want to get the copyright infringement here or anything like that, so I just had to re-edit the sound. So if it sounds a bit weird in this part, just because I edited the sound out a bit. And I had to redo it there. So diaries you pick up here. Um, and I picked up a gun as well, which is, you know, pretty good and useful, I guess. But um, yeah, there's an inventory system as well. You can aim the gun, uh, the arrow keys for the inventory there. You can open up the inventory as well. You can view the old notes or your items. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep on continuing here. So the, there was a song playing on that radio, but I had to edit it out there. So um, yeah, if you open up a door, it's like hard to get out of as well, just because the animations and whatnot and the controls are a bit clunky but open beta am I right so yeah I mean you collect these notes I guess you're just looking for your sister you get hints that she's in Silent Hill and uh, yeah nice little head bob going on there so this boat you just get on here it's kind of like Silent Hill 2 it reminds me of I think that's kind of where they base it off of this little boat section here so um, yeah, just kind of going through the backstory here, I'll just quickly explain what's on the Indie Database website here. So you're an ex-miner named Adam Baker, goes to a uh, so-called town Silent Hill. I'm just reading this word for word by the way. He tries to run from an alcoholic life full of problems in Ashfield. A friend of Adam talk with him about a town called Silent Hill. He said he will find out whatever he is looking for in that place. Adam is looking for his sister, Toya, who disappeared 10 years ago, uh, related to a crime-religious organization called Zangangno, a organization that Adam worked before. Uh, each clue leads him to Silent Hill and the, town pa the town past. So, you know, he's just collecting clues and whatnot. I guess he's an alcoholic, he's an ex-miner-retired miner and whatnot. 
and uh, he has alcoholic problems from the past and whatnot, so he's just looking for his sister. Um, in this part of the game, it kind of you can control the boat left and right and whatnot, but I'm not going to go off the path because it is really slow to drive this boat here. So uh, this takes you kind of like to a, sh a sewer area kind of thing like that, and. Um, I'm not, yeah, I mean, I can explore the water some more, but I, I don't think there's going to be anything else than this because this boat is so slow. It's just um, just kind of a waste of time, I guess. But, uh, I mean, this atmosphere capture is really great that they have uh, on the Unity engine here. So, uh, let's try to get this boat onto the thing. And yeah, if you hit clear off, you just instantly teleport there. Physics, nice physics there. And this kind of leads you to an underground area here. So the atmosphere instantly changes when you open that door or get through the door. And you can pick up this flashlight here. Kojer, I don't know what that means, but hey, you know, at least I got the flashlight. So let's go down into the dark abyss. Okay. So there's monsters down here actually. And uh, they don't really do much. I mean they spray at you like they throw up on you like Solid Hill. But those monsters. Four shots. They're dead. The gun sounds actually pretty hilarious. It's not even that loud. And it sounds super unrealistic. But you know. Open beta. Yeah. Yeah. There is puzzles involved as well in this game, which is pretty great. It's just like every Silent Hill game. And you can actually go down there. Kind of like Resident Evil 2, the sewers. Um, some videos have graphical glitches that I saw, but this runs fine on my system. Uh, I think it's just, you know, open beta and whatnot. But, uh. Yeah, it looks awesome, too. So, this is kind of kind of like puzzle number one, I guess. Pipe system ventilation. There's a key on the other side, but you can't reach it because the twirly blades will take your hand off. because I had turned around and the bullet went the other direction. It's kind of weird, I don't know. And uh, the ray dolls are a bit weird too, but hey, open beta. And um, I'll have the link actually in the description down below to go download this. Um, it is very short, but uh, I mean, it's still fun to play. You know, kind of get the feel of how the game's going to be. Notes you can pick up there. Now this long hallway is the dreaded long hallway. That's kind of like Silent Hill Shattered Memories that looking behind you kind of deal. And there's no button for that, you'd actually just turn your mouse around and yeah, that's what it does. But I'm gonna run all the way to the end here. Now there's a monster behind this door, that's the last monster. So this door is locked, closed, I guess, <laughs> and uh, that key was behind that rotating fan that I had saw earlier, that I had seen, or that I saw. So there's a map of Silent Hill there, there's another gun, which I don't think I need anyways. So you turn off the fan here, 
and you can hear the monsters walking around. So the monsters, they do actually get back up when you leave the area. Um, so they don't actually die. And that fan, or the light is actually moving, but it's staying static. But the light's moving, it's kind of weird. So you have to run all the way back. That's why it's the dreaded long hallway. should be back up. I'm not too sure how much ammo you have or anything it doesn't tell you. I'm not too sure if it's unlimited but he does reload after you shoot for a while. So you pick up the key, emergency key. You can examine it and do not use or use. But um, yeah, I mean it's kind of interesting, like the character model used, how it's from the Silent Hill movie itself. That part in the movie where there's like a bird and those guys with the masks and whatnot. The townspeople, I guess, that are in that cult. So we have to run all the way back. Again, so, you know, three times in this hallway. I think that would be enough. I mean, one would be enough. So that zombie or monster or whatever should be back up here because they do come back to life. And <laughs> when you do turn around, the whole character turns, so it's a bit funny looking too. And yeah, there's a glitch right there. But um, yeah, I mean, I can use the key on this door now. The first time I played this, the key didn't actually work for some reason. It was some glitch. I don't know what happened, but I couldn't open the door. So I had to redo the whole game again. And, um, yeah, you climb up the ladder here as slowly as possible. If you do try to change the angle of the camera, it just locks back to where it was. And, yeah, it takes forever to get up here. So, but, um, yeah. It goes to the end, basically, of the game here. That's where it takes you. A little nice camera angle change. Nice change from anything, basically. So it loads, it just loads actually a game trailer for the actual game itself. As this is kind of like a pre, or a beta demo thing, so... There is music that's playing on this, but I had to cut it out just because it's copyright issues and whatnot. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I didn't want to get hit with any of those pings or whatever things on YouTube. So, I mean, this is kind of just the gameplay trailer of the final game itself. Um, it has been named Silent Hill Lost Pieces now, I do believe, uh, as that's their new name that's on their um, indie database website and whatnot. So, Silent Hill Collier, that's the open beta, and the link is in the description down below. And, uh, you know, that's kind of all that there is to show. After this, it just goes back to the main menu. But, you know, comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We'll see you again soon.